Guys, and by guys I mean ladies and gentlemen, because I encourage women to code as much as men. Even though some people think by me saying guys, I'm not including them, I totally am not. So if you're one of those people, don't worry about it. All right, guys, we are back in code fights. Um, That's supposed to be a joke, guys. Have fun uh, with coding. So here we are, make a ray consecutive to what this algorithm is asking is, hey. We have an array with some numbers in it, and what we are trying to do is find out how many values are missing in it to iterate upwards. So uh, in this case, two, three, six, and eight, the numbers that are missing from the lowest number to the largest number are four, five, and seven in there. So one more than the other. Uh, a couple things that we're getting in here is it's a array of distinct meaning that we don't have to worry about numbers that are duplicates in the array and uh, So how do we get started? Well the first part that I like to do or that I would do is I would find the min number and the max number And I would also sort the numbers in order so that's that's what we're gonna do and uh, to help facilitate with the min and the max as well as iterating upwards for those numbers to find out those spots. So the way that we can do that is we can take our stat choose array and we just sort it. The way that you, the sort is a function and uh, we'll do this in ES6 with some arrow functions. And we'll pass in a parameter a comma b. Uh, and then what we do is we say return a minus b and this will actually sort it numerically. And before we move forward, we will return our statues array. And when we run our test, you'll see right here we have two, three, six, and eight. So now it's sorted. There's a couple different sorts. If you wanted to sort this from highest to lowest, you would do B minus A. And uh, if you want to look no more about you know all, all the other sorts that that all the ways that you can sort. And uh, this is just one way, by the way. Uh, you, you just go and check out the documentation. Now, because we've sorted it, we already know what the min number is going to be. It's going to be the first index in our array. So we can set, create this variable min, and we'll set it equal to index 0 of the array. And because we've also sorted it, we already know what the max number is. It's going to be the last number in the array. And so we'll say statues, and then statues.length minus 1. So we have the min number, we have the max number. Very cool. Now, all we have left to do is to create a count variable, because remember, we're not actually returning four, five, and seven. What we're returning is how many times, how many numbers are missing. In this case, four, five, and seven. So we're returning the number three. So let's go ahead and create a count variable as well. Initialize it to zero, because if there are no numbers missing, it, we should return zero. Instead of returning statues, what we want to return is count. And then we have a for loop. Now, if you got this far, the for loop probably will be pretty intuitive. We want to start off at the min. We don't want to start off at zero because we're checking the numbers between the min number and the max number at each and then each number in between. So we're going to start off by setting i to the min. And then we're saying while i is less than our max number. So in this case, while 2 is less than 8, Go ahead and add one to two and see if three is in the array. And the way that we can do that is uh, have an if statement and we can say, look, statues, our original array, dot index of i, uh, the number we're checking. In this case, we'll say it's three. If it's equal, equal to negative one, meaning that it's not contained within our original array, go ahead and add one to count. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and run our test. And whoops, what happened there? Uh, it seemed to access us, uh, us out there when I hit smooth sound. I meant to hit submit uh, to pass all the tests. But again, what we were trying to do here was we sorted the array numerically from lowest to highest. That's what this does. We then, because we've sorted it, found the min value and the max value and created a count variable to store how many changes need to need to happen to work for what we're trying to do. And then we just iterate through the, the for loop starting from the min number all the way to the max. 
counting how many numbers are missing and returning that value. So a lot of stuff going on there in terms of storing variables and whatnot. And you don't necessarily have to store variables. You could actually pass them in here if you wanted. I just like, I think it's more, much more clear when we sort of name these variables during uh, these videos and everything. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codenotorials360. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.